Hi everyone! Hi! Welcome back to Toki Fairy Travels. This is the fourth video? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the fourth video of our uh, luggage unboxing series from our honeymoon in Tokyo, mm -hmm. Japan. Um, we went to Osaka before and we've uploaded those videos. We also went to Akihabara and that video was just posted recently. So now it is time to talk about the next part of our trip, which was going to Odaiba, mm. also known as the hometown of the Diver City Mall, mm -hmm. where we went to the Gundam base. Mm. And our luggage container for this trip is here. Yes. Oh, okay. All the Gundam are in there. The Gundam base was like an experience. There were yes. lots of different things. Amazing things. Oh. And they're upside down. And they're upside down. <laughs> oh, no. <Sorry>. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Ta-da! Gundam stuff. Lots and lots of Gundam stuff. And some random things in there, too, that we got at Diversity. Yes. Uh, because it, it was a mall. Yes. Okay. But mostly Gundam. Yes. So let's start with the big thing on top. Yes. And then I'll move this out of the way. Okay. So I just recently got into Gundam, thanks to my lovely husband. Yeah. And the anime right now, the current anime, is The Witch from Mercury. And at the Gundam base, they had a lot of Witch from Mercury merch. Mm -hmm. And we could not resist getting a t-shirt that has silhouettes, uh, not, Siletta, sorry, Siletta <laughs> Mercury's quote on it. Yes. Which, yeah. uh, okay. If you run, you gain one. If you move forward, you gain two. Mm-hmm. And yeah, if you watch the series, this is a very powerful quote. It's what uh, her mother told her growing up so then she could keep moving forward. Yes. We also had to get a hoodie supporting the Mobile Suit Gundam Witch from Mercury series. Yes. And it's so, I'm unfolding it, but it's so cool. So cool. Yeah. Oh. So we're excited. We don't really have a lot of Gundam merch. No, uh, we clothing. don't. Yes, so this is a first. So yeah, this is these are the first, uh, hopefully the first of many. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but the the Gundam store, um, most Gundam bases just have like the uh, models that you can mm -hmm. build. This one had a display case of like the Witch from Mercury series. Mm -hmm. It had a merch store where you could buy hoodies, shirts. Even Gundam pilot jackets. Yes, and um, jeans, too. And jeans, shoes. It was mm -hmm. crazy. Yes. So uh, we only came out with these two items, but uh, there were so many things that you could get. It was mm -hmm. truly remarkable. Yes, it was really amazing. And, and he's not exaggerating when he says it's an experience because you do get to see fully built um, Gundam models depicting different scenes from different animes. It was, I mean, as a new Gundam fan, I was just so impressed. I was in awe the entire time. But, speaking of models, or Gunpla. So many. So many. Wait, did we get more than this? We got more stuff too. Okay, all right. All right, and, and this one too. And? and the postcard. Oh yeah, the postcard. And yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay. Right, so I guess continue with the theme of Witch from Mercury. We got um, the figure, which is sold out here in Korea. So I'm really excited for this because she's my favorite character in the mm -hmm. anime. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, my fandom for Gundam started back in the early 2000s. Mm -hmm. So one of the series that I enjoyed was the G Gundam series. And here we have the 
G Gundam set, which I hadn't seen in Korea before, uh, nor in the States, so I was super excited to see this one. Um, with Domon Kashu and the Shining Fingers. We also got a mini Gundam of the Wing Gundam from uh, Gundam Wing. And I really like this design of how small it was, so I had to get that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, I really kicked out, and we got a lot of a lot of things. Yes, we actually have like a dozen Gundam boxes, but we haven't built them yet. <laughs> we we will build them this weekend. Maybe. We will. Yes. And once we finish that, we will put them on their bases. We got two action bases. Uh, this is um, this is. I guess displayed as uh, from the Witch, of Mer Witch from Mercury, but mm -hmm. we can put other Gundams on there too. Yes. Uh, but we do have a lot of Witch from Mercury Gundams. Yes. So uh, we'll probably do that first. Yes, yeah, so we'll do those first. And we also got um, the postcard with uh, Saletta and Marine, mm -hmm. um, and uh, with Ariel in the background which is really cool. And a little glass uh, display case, mm -hmm. or not, not display case, but a little glass stand. stand. Yeah, so just um, like the Spy Family one, mm -hmm. this is the Witch from Mercury one. Yeah. The Spy Family one, the Dragon Ball one. Yes, this <laughs> one. <laughs> we're, we're getting more into these glass paper displays apparently. Yes. But knowing that they're really good quality, mm -hmm. um, if you can't afford figures, then go with this. Yeah. Highly recommend. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, but the Gundam base wasn't the only thing we did. Um, we also went to, well, my wife, she went to the Ghibli store. Yes, I did. I went to the Ghibli oh, store. Sorry, Ghibli store. <laughs> and, and I got a few items. Some I think you can only find in Japan. Um, okay. So I got, I got the, uh, oh, there's so much, so much Gundam in front of me. I got a calcifer um, coaster. We have a lot of coasters, but I don't really see a lot of um, House Moving Castle merch mm -hmm. here in Korea. So this was definitely really cool to find. Um, a mystery bag of a sticky note of uh, the Whisper of the Heart sticky note and some origami, origami paper which I think you can only find in Japan. Um, I don't do origami, but I do a lot of scrapbooking, and this is gonna make a really cute background. And lastly, I got some postcards from different scenes of different movies, so like Kiki's, um, this one is Porco Rosso, and I got this one from Hell's Moving Castle, and again, Calcifer from <laughs> Hell's Moving Castle. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it was really surprising because um, we were expecting, we wanted to go to the Ghibli Museum. Museum. Yeah. Uh, but it's currently under renovation, or it was under renovations during yeah. the time that we went. Mm -hmm. um, so it was a little disappointing yeah. uh, to begin with, but then we found this Ghibli store um, while we were waiting for the Gundam base yes. to open. And yes. so it was a perfect opportunity to get some nice things. Yeah, yeah, so, and it made me really happy. And mm -hmm. just I love just stumbling upon Ghibli stores. People look them up online. Where are they? But I think finding one just by chance is, is even better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this is what we got from Diversity. Yes, Diversity. Yeah. Yes. And um, outside of Diversity, mm -hmm. forgot to mention, there's a giant unicorn Gundam yes. uh, that lights up. Uh, we went during the morning, so we didn't see the lighting. Mm -hmm. Uh, but definitely something to go check out if you're a huge Gundam fan. Yes. Um, there is a giant Gundam in Yokohama. Oh, yes, there is. Uh, mm -hmm. But that was a little too far away for, for our travel plans. Yes, and um, it, it actually moves, too. And, yeah, and it actually moves. Yes. But, yeah, if you're a huge Gundam fan, I definitely recommend Diver City. Mm -hmm. um, they have so many things that you can buy and see and watch and... Uh, they even had like an area with like reenacted scenes from mm -hmm. all of the Gundams throughout the timeline of you know its inception. So, highly recommend going out there and yeah, 
geeking yeah. out. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, definitely geeking out. Um, yes, it was it was really fun, mm-hmm. and just the whole area. I think o- Odaiba is really nice. We saw a lot of families there. Um, the food at the food court oh, mall was really good. So good. Yes. <laughs> And affordable, mm-hmm. so you can, if you wanted to, you could spend a whole half day there, just just relaxing, you know, um, take a break from your travels and and go to Diver City. Mm-hmm. I highly yeah. recommend it. Yeah. So this, I think, was the last biggest thing that we went to go do mm-hmm. in Japan in Tokyo, and it was actually one of one of the best days, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, it was. Yes. <laughs> this is going to be. The, the ending of our Gundam Ghibli Diver City yes. video. <laughs> <laughs> um, please check out the other three videos. We have one video left, so make sure to subscribe to get notified when that video comes out. And don't forget to like, mm-hmm. comment, let us know um, what's your favorite Gundam series. Or if you were going to go to Diver City, which Gundam would you like to buy? Mm, yeah. That's going to be it for today's video. Uh, Thanks for watching, Mm -hmm. as always, and we'll see you again next time. Yes. Bye. -bye. Thanks Thanks for stopping by. by.